There is another story of a lady that day night, day night, and just before before coming to the you know the information, a lady, another lady, the one who gave ghusl to the ladies, called this sheikh, and she said, Sheikh, I'm in a trouble. You know, I'm just giving bath to a, a lady, and I'm in trouble. I don't know. And of course, even the previous story, the woman gave ghusl to that woman. You know. So it's not that the man, because I said, you know, the, the son was there, of course, but the one who gave the husband to that mother was a woman. So again, this woman calling this sheikh and saying, well, I'm in a trouble. Uh, please, if you can help me. He said, what's the trouble? He said, is it okay if I can open, you know, you know, open up with you? He said, of course, you're in trouble and you're in the middle of giving husband. So tell me. She said, there is a lady who's completely dead on that, you know, place that where we give the bath. But her one hand, her one hand on her, you know, side. You can say the hip, you know. One hand on her hip, the leg or the, the feet is up like this. And the other hand back at the head, you know. So one hand on the head, the other hand on the, on the side or on the hip. And the one leg is like this. So he said, okay, try to make it straight. She said, wallahi, I tried. But the thing is, I cannot, you know, I cannot... Uh, uh, push it because it might break. And Prophet ﷺ said, you know, breaking the bone of a dead person is like breaking the bone of a, a living person, you know. So a person feels at that moment, you know. That's why even by giving the ghusl, you should not use very hot water and it's also recommended not to give very cold water. It should be normal as you're giving that to a, a, a normal person. So the Sheikh said, okay, you know what, take a towel, dip it into the hot water and put it on her, you know, muscles and, and elbow and everything and try little by little. So she said, Sheikh, you're talking about the, the towel. I dipped the whole body inside the hot water and it's still the same. And I didn't know what to do. You know? And it's very, you know, uh, visible. Like, you know, even if we wrap her from the, on the kafan, the one hand is like this, the other hand is like this, and the leg is like this. So what should I do? I said, well, okay, try your best. Try your best. Now this is it. Well, what you can do, you cannot break the hand and break, break the leg. And just check. Why this happened? Now the Sheikh saying, check with the family member uh, what, why this happened and who is she and what she used to do. So she said, is, is it okay to ask the mother? He said, ask her, but take her to the side, don't ask her in public. So this lady went to that mother and she said, look, we are trying our best and um, I'm trying to manage her, her you know, hand and leg and everything, but it's not. So the mother said, wallahi, when we, we brought her till here, till inside the place of Ghusl, she was fine. She was completely straight. Once she went inside the place of Ghusl, she became like this. One hand on the on the hip, the leg is up, and the other hand on the head. And they gave her the kafan exactly the same way because they couldn't make anything, any 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 changes into it. And they gave her, you know, the, the funeral the things and everything, all the steps, uh, you know, they followed all the steps. Later on, he went, she went to the mother and she said, can you please tell us why this happened to, to your daughter? So she said in her life, she never ever stopped you know, herself from listening to the music. Day and night, she listened to the music. Adhan is going on, Adhan is not going on, it's Ramadan, it's this, it's that. She doesn't care. She always gives money to, to my little uh, son or to, to her little brother that go to Bakala, bring for yourself this and that, and go to the end of the street and just give me the latest and, and bought three, uh, uh, buy for me the latest CD or the latest, uh, latest uh, cassette book. And she always, always, you know, into into all these things. And how she died, she was invited into one of the weddings, you know. So in the weddings, they put the music and she was moving and, and so happy and going left and right. So some of the friends said, why don't you just come on the stage and just dance? So she came on the stage and this is what the mother said. She came on the stage and exactly she put one hand on her, you know, hip, the other hand on the head. And she just wanted to, you know, pull her leg to just make a star or something like that. She took one round, she fell down, and she was dead, completely dead. At that moment, they took her to the another room where the grooms sit and everything. They tried to put, you know, water on her. They tried to. She was straight, straight body. But look, Subhanallah, because her whole life she was doing what? The end was the same, and she went inside her grave exactly the same way she died, Subhanallah. 
So this is subhanAllah. When, when I was going through all this, I said, subhanAllah, look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes these people ibrah, you know, a lesson to others, you know, so they will see, they, they can understand, they can ponder upon all these things.